and he flashed photography as it could be distracted to our performers on stage. Thank you very much. We hope that you enjoy the show. Songs they have 
wants to beat like the wings of the birds that rise from the lake to the trees. My heart wants to sigh like a chime that flies from the church on a breeze to laugh like a brook when it trips and falls over stones in its way to sing through the night like a lark who is learning to pray I go to the hills when my heart is lonely I know I will hear what I
Expect. 
children, you are very good with them. They need a governess until September. Until September, Captain Von Trapp expects you this afternoon. He's a fine man and a brave one. He was given the Maria Theresa Medal for heroism in the Adriatic. A captain in the Navy. Oh, Mother, he'll be very strict toward not being sent to his battleship. God bless you, Maria. But Reverend Mother, have I your permission to sing? Yes, my child.
I was calling for the housekeeper, and she didn't answer. Do you know why? Sometimes she doesn't hear, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I was answering the telephone. Good day, sir. We're happy to have you home again. Why did the last governess leave? Who knows? She just said, I've had enough of this, and walked out. Why? Was Louisa playing tricks again? Putting toads in her bed? She didn't complain of that, sir. <coughs> well, there's another one coming tonight, and this one can't walk out. Oh? She's coming from non work with orders to stay until September. I hope you'll be at home for a time, sir. Just until tomorrow. The telephone call, was it for me? No, it was for Franz. Before you arrived, there was a phone call from Vienna. A frau Schrader, I have the number in the pantry. I know the number. Oh. I shall also be back in about a month with some guests. Yes, sir. Do you know how many, sir? Just two. Herr Detweiler? Ah, uh, Herr Detweiler. And Frau Schrader. And who was it that walked in the telephone? It was the post office. They have a telegram for you. It will be delivered around 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? That gives me five hours to be nervous. With that scatterbrain boy delivering telegrams? Well, that's one thing that people are saying. If the Germans did take over Austria, we'd have efficiency. Don't let the captain hear you say that. <laughs> he didn't whistle for us when his wife was alive. He's being the captain of the ship again. I can't bear being whistled for. It's humiliating. The Imperial Navy, the Boston always whistled for us. But I wasn't in the Imperial Navy. Too bad. Von Trapp, and you are Fraulein Maria, Maria Raymond. Before the children meet you, you will put on another dress. But I haven't any other dress. When we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes are given to the poor. Well, what about this dress? The poor didn't want this one. <laughs> this is what you would call a worldly dress? It belonged to our last postulant. I would have made myself a dress, but I wasn't given time. I can make my own clothes. Good. I'll see that you're given some material. Today, if possible. Now, Fraulein, as to your duties here, you will be in charge of my children. There are seven of them. We'll find out how far they have progressed in their studies and carry on from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom, and each afternoon they march. You'll make sure that at all times they conduct themselves with decorum and orderliness. The first rule in this house is discipline. Yes, sir! This is your new Fraulein, Fraulein Marie. When I sound your signal, you will step forward and repeat your name. You, Fraulein, will listen to their signal so that you may learn them. Answer to a whistle. That's 
nonsense. Everyone in this house answers to a whistle. Here, I'll show you. Yes, sir? This is my order, my father. The new governess, Fraulein Marie. Yes, sir? The executive officer, Frau Schmidt, the housekeeper. Fraulein Marie, please make sure that the room is ready. Yes, sir. Well, Fraulein, I will leave you with the children now. You are in command. Oh, 
Please don't. You don't have to say goodnight this early just because your father's home. How did you tell Oh, I have a way of knowing things. You're wonderful. Oh, no, I'm not, really. Oh, yes, you are. I mean, how did you know two days? Every year on this date, your dad always gets a birthday telegram from his sister. See, you are wonderful. Can I come again tomorrow night? Well, you can't be sure you're going to have a telegram to come here. Tomorrow? Well, I could come here by mistake with a telegram from Colonel Schneider. He's staying here from Berlin with the gall island, but no one's supposed to know that. Don't tell your father. Why? Well, it's pretty Austrian. We're all Austrian. Some people think we ought to be German. You're getting pretty mad at those who don't think so. You're getting ready to... Well, let's hope your dad doesn't, doesn't get into any trouble. Don't worry about Bob. He thinks that bravery. I know. I don't worry about him. The only one I worry about is his daughter. Me. Oh. 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 What's wrong with that?
The Von Trapp children never play. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But they're children. They need to climb trees and whirl on grass. Think of all the rocks and caves. Woo! <laughs> the captain says the best exercise is marching. The children will continue to march. I hope you're finding your room comfortable. Yes, thank you. There will be new curtains for the windows and the alcoves. They'll be home tomorrow. But these curtains are very good. There will be new curtains. Will the captain be away long? I don't know. Of course, he has to come home every time he hires a new governess. I sometimes think the children get rid of their governesses just because they want to see their father. Well, he must want to see them too. Ever since his wife died, they reminded him too much of her. If you put that away, you won't be using it. Why not? The captain won't have music here. He won't have music? And he used to love music. There were wonderful evenings here where his wife would sing, and he'd play violin and guitar. But he shut all that out of his life. So that's why he is the way he is. But not to have music, that's wrong for him, and wrong for the children, too. It will work out. The captain may marry again before the summer's over. That would change everything. We'd have a mother again. It's going to rain. We'd better close your window. Dear God, I know now that you have sent me here on a mission. I must help these children to learn to love their new mother and repair them, to win her love so that she will never want them to leave her. And I pray that this will be a happy family in my sight. God bless the captain. God bless Liesl and Friedrich and Louisa, Bertita, Marta, and little Gretel. And, oh yes. I forgot the other boy. What's his name? Well, God bless what's his name. God bless the Mother Abbess. God bless Sister Margareta and everyone at Nomberg Abbey. And now, dear God, about Lisa. Help her to know that I am her friend and help her to tell me what she's been up to. Are you going to tell me? Help me to be understanding so that I may guide your footsteps. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I was out taking a walk, and somebody locked the doors open than usual. I saw your window open. I'm not going to tell you, Father, are you? Did you climb that trellis to get up here? Yes.
Tell her dad father we're having coffee out here. No, sir. My dad father is still on the telephone. Frustrator. Thank you. Still no sign of the children front? Not yet, sir. Gail, those mountains. They're magnificent. Yes. They're not like any other mountains. They're friendly. <coughs> Look, when the wind moves through the wind, they're like a restless sea. And that sweet little village. That's not a village. That's a town. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt its feelings. It's fun being with you. You're quite an experience for me. You're quite an experience for me, too. Somewhere in you, there's a fascinating man. Occasionally, I catch a glimpse of him. And when I do, he's exciting. Exciting? I don't believe I've ever been called exciting before. I'm beginning to understand you better now than I see you here. You're a little like those mountains, except that you keep moving. How can you stand to be away from this place as much as you are? Well, maybe I've just been looking for a reason to come back here to stay. Gail, I like it here very much. Max canceled the on the telephone. I know you're desperate about getting to see us the Hultzberg Festival. After all, I have my participation to look after. But there was a corporation. It is. And I'm president. You president of a corporation? After all, I managed to have to stay for years before he died. I just can't see you sitting behind a desk. Well, of course, I wear a business suit and smoke a big cigar. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'd like to buy a little his coffee now. While he's telephoning? He's just finished. Sorry I took so long. Any luck? How would you like this for the Hulksberg Festival? The finest choral group in Austria, the greatest mixed quartet in all the world, and the best soprano in the world. Max, that's something I'd love to hear. So would I. 
All I've got up to now is a basso. Who is me for food, though? Oh, Max, you've always put on a good festival concert. And why? Because my motto is, never start up looking for the people you want to get. That's why I've been calling Paris, Rome, Stockholm, London. On Georg's telephone? How else could I afford it? Why am I up here? I hoped it was because you liked me. Of course I like you. Why shouldn't I like you? You live like a king. You have an excellent wine cellar. Yes. I like rich people. I like the way they live. I like the way I live. What I live. Gail, is there a cathedral around here? That's our abbey. Nonberg Abbey. Do they have a choir? Beautiful one. Good. In the next few days, I've been visiting all these towns around here to listen to segments, choirs, quartets. You'll be here for meals, won't you? Oh. It was in a town just about that size, but where I discovered the St. Ignatius Boys Choir. In 1930, they won the festival, became very famous for all over the world. Oh, yes. Whatever became of by the time their voices matured, they were rich enough to live in America. <laughs> Who lives in that dilapidated castle down there? Rumpel Snowskin? <laughs> That's Baron Elberfeld, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet all your friends. Gaylor, why don't you give a dinner for me while I'm here? Nothing too much. Just something lavish. <laughs> I wouldn't know who to invite. Today it's difficult to tell who's a friend and who's an enemy. Now isn't a good time to make enemies. Let's make some friends. I just can't understand what's happened to the children. You are not worried about them, are you? No, but they should have been here to welcome you. Well, it could have been an intentional slight because they haven't met me yet. Forgive me. I'll try to find them. <laughs> also, have you made a deal of mine yet? Is he going to marry you? Oh, yes. But he hasn't admitted it yet. There seems to be something standing in his way. You don't know what it is? No. I don't. What? It's very simple. It's money. Money? Yes. He's rich and you're And all the famous love affairs lovers have to struggle. And Kevin runs away upstairs, love us, stop and stop. Oh, famous for misfortune, which you seem to have no fear of. Oh, well, lovers who are very rich, you very seldom hear of. Not a sign of them anywhere. No, little shabby, do you share with me? We do not flee from a border.
what? I am a dead wild. You have delivered your telegram. Now get out! Georg, he's just a boy! I am Austrian. I will not be hiding. Georg, why don't you see things the way I do? What's going to happen is going to happen. Just make sure it doesn't happen to you. Max, it's a real good thing you have any character. Because if you had, I'm convinced I'd be. You couldn't hate me. I'm too lovely. Excuse me, Herr Deadweiler. There's a call for you. It's from. I'll take it.
You have German blood, haven't you? I'm not a German. I'm an Austrian. There's going to be an Auschwitz, I warn you. And that goes for everyone. That doesn't mean 
mean she didn't have a headache. It's very important that you children like Frau Schrader.
You must stop. Max! Elsa, this is important to Austria. And it wouldn't do me any harm.
love this man, it does not mean that you love God less. You must find out. You must go back. Oh, no, no, mother, please, don't ask me to do that. These walls were not made to shout problems. You have to face them.
taking up the stage for big concert hall. What concert hall, Max? Yeah, any concert hall. Maybe Kaltzberg concert hall, but a concert hall full of people. Now, let's try that again. Do
Any telegrams lately? No. Now I'll be glad to report this. Lisa, you can't use boarding school to escape your problems. You have to face them. Oh, children, I have so much to talk to you about. We have some things to tell you, too. I'm sure you have a great deal to tell me. I guess the most important thing is that your father's going to be married. Any explanation whatsoever, without even saying goodbye. It was very wrong of me. Forgive me. Why did you do this to us? Tell me. Please, don't ask me that. Anyway, the reason no longer exists. So you're back to stay? Only until you can make arrangements for another governess. Oh no, the children have missed you. I've missed you. Everybody's missed you very much. Nothing was the same while you were away. Everything was... long. But I can't! Talk about it later. Go on to the children now. Maria! A new dress? We have a new costume. <laughs> I just know I'm right, Max. We'll find the mask in. I'll take your word for it, Elsa. Gail, settle this for Max. Property go. Can you make out that stone wall? That's the property line. You see? I didn't argue about it. I know. That makes me furious. I don't like to live without a fight. Excuse me, my bad While you were gone, you had a long distance call from Berlin. Who could be calling me from Berlin? They said you know who it was. Oh. Thank you, Frog. Gail, what were we just talking about? This isn't your first call from Berlin. Georg, you know I have no political convictions. Can I help it if other people have? Let's not stir that up. The Germans have promised not to invade Austria. Max knows that. Then why does he bother to answer those calls from Berlin? Because they don't keep their promise. I want to have some friends with Naturally. Oh, you agree too? Georg, why don't you see things the way I am? There was a man who stopped. They were getting these last words. They said, do you renounce the devil in all his works? And he said, at this moment, I prefer not to make any evidence. Georg, if they, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you? To your property? To your children? To everyone close to you? To Elsa? To me? <laughs> well, what will you do if they invade you? Will anyone in the sense of you? Just sit tight and wait for it all to go over. And you think it will? One thing's for sure. Nothing you can do can make any difference. Don't look so serious, darling. Take the world on your shoulders. Relax. <laughs> You dare retract and do we act idealist? Today you have to learn to be a realist. You may be bent on doing deeds of daring do, but up against a shark, what can a head do? Be wise, compromise. Compromise and be wise. Let them think you're on their side, be not I will not bow my head to the men that I despise. You don't have to bow your head to stoop a little. Why not learn to put your faith in your reliance on an obvious and simple fact of science? A crazy planet full of crazy people is somersaulting all around the Every time it turns another summer, so another day, go 
somersaulting at a cockeyed angle We'd make a cockeyed circle on the sun And when we circled by the way we saw it From another year has run And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it If the earth wants to roll around the sun You're a fool if you worry, you're a fool if you worry About anything but little number one That's you, that's I, and I, and me That all-absorbing character, that fascinating creature That super special feature, me Constellation in the sky revolves around the center of the universe, a lovely thing called I. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it, and I know, no, I cannot tell you why. It's charming. That as long as I'm living, just as long as I'm living, there'll be nothing else as wonderful as I. Uh-huh. 
That's different too. Is it? It is different. Your whole life will be different. I'll take you anywhere you'd like, give you anything you wish. But I don't want to go anywhere. All I could wish for is right here.
Go to Diesel, Friedrich, Smarta, Greta. Look here, Colesburg Festival, 1938. Here's a list of all your names. Diesel, Friedrich, Luisa, Brigitte, Kurt, Martha, and Greta. Why are these last? Diesel, I'm counting on you. Day after tomorrow, make sure you get all the kids ready at 11 o'clock. That's when. Hey, he wants to know why we aren't flying the new flag. Hi! I tried to explain. Keep what? When is Captain Bond's back returning? Who knows? When a man is on his honeymoon. These are not times for jokes. It's been four days since the Oshlis, and this is the only house in the province not flying the flag of the Third Reich! Do you forbid such remarks in this house? Who are you? I am Maximilian Deathweb, first secretary of the Ministry of Education and Culture. That was in the old regime. In the old regime, I was the third secretary. Now, I'm first. Good. Then you will order them to fly the flag. Captain Von Trapp wouldn't. I mean, I can take my orders only from Captain Von Trapp. You will take your orders from us. And that goes for the captain as well. Hi! Hi. Why is it so cross? Everybody's cross these days. Is Father going to be in trouble? He doesn't have to be. The thing to do today is just get along with everyone. Now, make sure you get all the kids on the bus and ready at 11 o'clock. Uncle Max, are you sure this is going to be all right with Father? He'll be pleased and proud. Weasel, do you think so? Brigitte. Don't you trust me? No. <laughs> well, anyway. Bust it inside 11 o'clock. Crawling needs to look suit I have here. That's Father's luggage! That's right, they're back. <gasps> Liesl, they'll have such a lot to tell us. Let's not hurry to tell them anything.
Well, I don't think first of myself anymore. I think first of him. I now know how to spend my life. Then you're 16, going on 17, waiting for life to start. Somebody kind of you touches your mind, will suddenly touch your heart. When that happens, after it happens, nothing is quite the same. Somehow you know you'll jump up and go if ever he calls your name. God, are your old ideas of life the old ideas grow dim? Oh, and behold, you're someone's wife, and you. Captain Von Trapp has just returned from his honeymoon. 
Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, sir. Captain, in our Navy, we hold you in very high regard. We have great memory of your accomplishments. Good, sir. It's an honor to hear you say that. Let's get to the point. If you don't mind, as I said, we hold you in very high regard. That explains why we are here. Having had no response to our telegram, I command has sent me here in person. I am here to present to you your commission. And your orders are to report immediately to Bremerhaven for further instruction. Immediately? Oh, Georg, I'm afraid that will be impossible for you. Admiral Von Schreiber, may I present my wife, Baroness Von Schreiber? Madame? What I meant, sir, is that we're going to be singing Friday night in the Kultzberg Festival. Look here. The Von Trapp Family Singers, here in the program. <laughs> it's been arranged by the Ministry of Education and Culture. Friday night. This is Friday night now, isn't it? I suppose it's possible that you report immediately on Monday. Adam, do you have a telephone I can use? Right this way, Adam. If there's any question, perhaps adequately of my voice, give here only the names of the children, Captain. This is the Von Trapp family singers. I'm head of the Von Trapp family. That's rather hard to imagine. You singing in a concert, Captain? Here's a, you may believe what you want. It doesn't say what you're going to sing, Captain. It's an honor for you to come be hero sing in person. I'd like to hear what you're going to sing in the concert. Sing what you're going to sing in the concert. Sing! Liesl, would you give us a dough? Doe, a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun. To me, a name I call myself. Far, a long, long way to run.
They've gone. Reverend Father, we're sorry we put you in this position. Reverend Father, we can never thank you. As soon as it's safe, we'll start. We hit our car deep in the woods. The car will do no good. They've left the guard on the road in front of the gate. I've been listening to the wireless. The roads are blocked. The border's been closed. I've always thought of these mountains as my friends, standing there, protecting us. But now it seems they've become my enemies. Never your enemies. Haven't you read? For I will lift up mine eyes into the hills. From whence cometh my help? Gaylord, I know these mountains well as I know this garden. And so do you. And once we're over those mountains, we're in Switzerland. But the children. We can help them. We can do it without help. You'll have help. For ye shall go out with joy and be led by peace. The mountains and hills shall break 